Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Walker from denwalker.com. Today we're talking a little about the benefits of natural immunity. Um, as we all know, uh, we've been talking about this for a while now, as we all know, uh, COVID-19 is sort of this virus that's sort of wrapped in this uh, uh, protein layer where they have these spikes and so forth. So the people that have created the vaccine have done a wonderful job, a tremendous job in terms of taking that, uh, that, that set of protein, if you would, that codes for the spike on that uh, on, on COVID-19 uh, virus, they've taken the protein that codes that those spike, put it in the nanoparticles, infuse that essentially into uh, the cell. The body then, again, cleverly, the body then takes that code, creates the protein that codes for the uh, antigen, place that antigen on top of the surface of the cell, and then your body sees that uh, antigen, it then creates antibodies, right? Which is, a, again, uh, a, a feat in and of itself. And again, essentially what it's doing is it's taking that material that really codes for the antigen and then create the antigen protein again, place it on top of the surface of the cell. Then the body sees that and creates all this, the antibodies for that. Now, that's a great thing and a wonderful thing. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, the concern, though, is that when it creates antibodies, uh, it creates a set of antibodies that are very specific very narrow focus uh, coding specifically for um, the COVID-19, the Wuhan version of COVID-19. Uh, and that uh, set of antibodies is very limited and very narrow focused, right? That's that's what we have to remember. The, 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 the antibodies that is being coded for is very, very specific, very, very focused. It's the uh, uh, the COVID-19 uh, from Wuhan that's what it's, it's actually coding for, right? That's what it's coding for. Now, when you have natural immunity, so in other words, you've been infected with the uh, COVID-19 virus and you're creating antibodies now. When you have that, you have a broad spectrum. Now, that whole thing is very, that, that whole innate immunity is very, a very slow process. But when it's done, when it does what it needs to do, you have T helper cells, you have natural immunity, you have immunity against this, it creates antibodies against the spike, against the capsule, against the nuclear capsid. It creates broad spectrum antibodies against the entire thing so that when you have an exposure again to, let's say, Delta or Lambda or Mu or whatever the other, uh, uh, the new version is of uh, COVID-19, um, it has something for all of those things, right? So the vaccine may fail individual, may fail individual, uh, individuals if they're exposed to mu or lambda because again the antibodies being created for was again from 2019 that wuhan uh, uh virus is creating antibodies against that one specific one so anything that changes from that initial uh, uh uh spike is now different and so you have less of an affinity for the newer um viruses the delta the mu's less immunity uh, with the vaccine for those so people uh, will get breakthrough infections, and I suspect that um, the farther along we go in this process, in this pandemic, that individuals who've had the vaccine, for example, in January, February of this past year, they'll have more of an issue in terms of breakthrough because the virus is now different than it was uh, in, in, in those days. Now, there are probably now more than 110 million people that have had uh, COVID, had the actual virus itself. Now, if, and it just, it's just me thinking about this, the last time was 110 million people. If you had people that had the um, virus, had antibodies, and then somehow got reinfected with Delta or whatever other version there is, and those folks were in ICU in a hospital, the news would be, it would be all over the news, right? So all these people who had natural infection, had antibodies created and so forth, now they're in ICU and, you know, they're dead and dying and that's what you would hear. You'd hear that whole big mantra about uh, folks having had the uh, virus in the past, had antibodies, and, um, and, and now they're in the hospital. That's not what you're hearing right now, right? You're, you're not hearing, in fact, any of that. In fact, what you're actually hearing is that uh, and, and in Israel, for example, in some places, for example, in Massachusetts recently, uh, you're hearing that people who have had the vaccine um, are now having, quote, breakthrough infections, and the breakthrough infections are just overrunning hospitals, for example, in, 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 in Israel. Some people will tell you that, yes, you have some people who are, who are, uh, who have not been vaccinated. Um, many of them are actually in the hospital and that's probably true in some places in, in, in the world. However, just, just remember as well, 
that we are behind Israel in terms of the vaccination process, which means that what they're currently faced with, we soon will be faced with that same sort of scenario in that if you're vaccinating all these folks, at some point, that immunity is going to wane. And some people would say that it's waning as much as 6% per month. So people who got their vaccine back in January, February, they have very little, quote, uh, protection at this point, which is the reason they have to get a booster again going forward. So that's what you're going to hear going forward in, in, in our country. And in, in, in fact, I heard recently uh, in the U.S. now, in some hospitals, you have almost 30% of the people who are hospitalized are actually folks with um, uh, who have been vaccinated already. So that's what I expect is going to happen going forward. People that have had the, uh, the vaccine um, at some point will begin to uh, have a complication because of waning immunity, waning immunity from, uh, from, the, uh, from the vaccine. Natural immunity, uh, as I said before, gives you a broad spectrum of innate sort of immunity. And so those folks who have had um, natural immunity, who have had antibodies and so forth, they'll be protected, I suspect, for a longer time. Now, there's some there was a study that was done in Denmark a little while ago that implied that uh, natural immunity had some issues and some complications. Again, I've not seen it. I have not. Um, I've never seen that. In fact, I've, I've heard of one person that had, um, uh, quote, um, COVID-19 before had allegedly had antibodies and then that individual had a second um, uh, a second complication with COVID-19. Obviously, there could be some problems with that. In, in, in other words, before, when they did the PCR test, they had 35 iterations of that thing, right? So the, and the higher the iterations that you kept triggering it again, the higher the iterations, the greater the likelihood of a false positive in those cases. And so now it's actually down to, I guess, 20, 25 iterations, which, you know, if it's positive, now it's likely being, it's, it's likely true. But before, when it was 35 iterations, you know, God only knows what, uh, what, what you could have expected. Um, for those of us, for those of us who are opting at this point still um, not to take the vaccine, and, and, and again, the vaccine does exactly what it's supposed to do, right? does again focused narrow focused antibody uh delivery system for those of us though who are opting not to take the vaccine at this point um not telling you what to do what, what i'm doing for myself is i suspect that if i keep my um body primed primed meaning from from the standpoint of uh healthy if you would and for me that includes things like vitamin d vitamin c q certain um elderberry you know, walking, natural foods, un little unprocessed foods, uh, I'm sorry, little processed foods. If I do those things for myself, I think when I am presented with uh, the virus, and it, many of you have heard by now that we do not think, the experts, I should, I should say, do not think that we'll ever read, uh, reach herd immunity, um, we will be exposed at some point to the virus. But I think if you're healthy, if you are um, staying on your supplements, if you are eating right, exercising to some degree, um, getting outside, getting uh, exposure to sun and fresh air, if you do all of those things, I suspect, I suspect, can't guarantee you this, that when you're exposed, you'll create antibodies. Once you have natural antibodies, I think you'll be, I think I'll be good long term. Um, and again, if you've had natural immunity already, uh, bless you. Um, there is no current data that says that if you've had uh, a natural infection and you have antibodies from a natural infection standpoint, that giving a person a vaccine on top of that offers any benefit, right? And, and again, just, just think about that for a second. When you have a natural infection, you have antibodies against the entire uh, virus itself, the entirety of the uh, thing. Spike is a part of it. Nucleocapsid is a part of it. Um, it the whole membrane, right? You, you're getting antibodies to the entire uh, thing. You're also triggering T helper cells. You're triggering natural killer cells. You're tri you're, all these things are happening when you get uh, a natural infection. Now, the vaccine, again, creates antibodies against the spike and it, my question to you then would be which would you rather having antibodies that's against the entire 
virus itself or the spike, which is constantly changing, uh, as we all know. I'd prefer to get a broad spectrum uh, antibodies from natural immunity. And again, key though for people would be to say, keep yourself healthy. Now, that means talking to your doctor. That means giving your vitamin D levels checked. That means um, uh, taking your supplements as I suggested, keeping on top of your zinc, your, your elderberry, all of those things uh, I think you need to sort of concentrate on, talk with your doctor obviously, and then get yourself sort of uh, primed, especially coming for this winter season. Um, that's really all I have to say today uh, on this uh, issue. If you have any questions for me, you can always send me a, a, a DM or uh, send me an email, whichever you choose. If you like what we're talking about on this channel, please subscribe uh, and help. Um, and uh, otherwise, you stay healthy. God bless. Take care of yourself.